Hey everybody, thank you for joining me today. We are going to be drawing the Queen of Hearts and she is the last villain in my Disney villain series. So I appreciate you being here and I hope you've enjoyed the series so far. We're just going to kind of dive right in. I just want to tell you I'm using a 2B pencil. It's a softer lead, so hopefully you guys can see me drawing it. And then I have, this is like a sandpaper in case I need to sharpen my pencil. And I have several erasers. So her head is extremely large. It's going to take up most of the paper. So we're going to just kind of start with an oval and I'm going to kind of start with it right in the center of the paper and then we can make adjustments. That's why we kind of put it in lightly first. And her head is quite squared off on the top. So we can just, even though the crown is going to go right here, we can kind of start mapping in this area here. And you can kind of just loosely put where the crown would be probably, just so you know. And we're not putting the eyebrows or anything like that in right now. We're just getting the shape. So we'll put this little shape in here. down a bit and then her eye and her eyes are at a little bit of a slant and then her nose starts right next to that left eye and goes right underneath it there kind of curls around and is quite bulbous. And the other eye would be over here. About like that. And then we can kind of put in the map in the rest of her face, this this side over here. And it starts just about three quarters of the way down that eye. So we'll just, it's just a little line there, and then it goes directly into her big cheek. And then just rounds off there. And then I'm just gonna kind of stop right there and start kind of mapping in the other areas first so it kind of makes sense as we're going. So we'll put this in here. And this little part of her mouth right here almost looks like a little heart on this side and then it kind of extends up. So that's one way to kind of look at it. And her, it starts kind of closer to the top of the nose. stops right about where the tip of her nose is and it comes to a little bit of a point and then it extends back up so up here there's a line that drops down from her nose it's kind of like her little cheek you can kind of pop that in so you know where, where to end the mouth here. So we're drawing this line right here. That's why, like I said, you just kind of map it in lightly first so you can make adjustments as needed. And 
Then I always have my trusty brush just to wipe off the little pencil or eraser shavings. She looks super ridiculous right now. <laughs> and then we can go ahead and put in this part of her mouth here. And it looks like like this is the bottom of her, her mouth and like the bottom of her lip. So it juts out a little bit because her mouth is open. So we'll drop it down and then go back like this and just quickly just kind of goes out a little bit. It kicks out and then it rounds back off. And this line kind of curves right here. And then it kind of squares off a little bit right there. And then her tongue is about like that. And this might be out a little bit too far. But again, we're just kind of putting things in as, as little placeholders just to kind of see where we're at. And then I feel like this needs to be a little bit more diagonal this way. I'm going to try to zoom in just a little bit. Right here. And there we go. I felt like her cheek just wasn't quite the right angle. And then it goes straight down and ends actually well, that will be where it ends but let me erase this too. Just a little bit because then there's this line here that's like her bottom lip and then it extends right near that, not quite to the end, and then picks back up under here. Again, she's kind of to the side, so then it comes down here and then rounds off as her chin. I think I'm making this one a little bit bigger, but it doesn't matter. This actually go up a little higher. Her eyebrow would be about here. And then her eyebrow bone. And then there's just a teeny tiny little part of her head right there that shows. And then her crown starts and it's kind of rounded as it sits on her head right here. And then extends out and it ends right past her left eye here, the eye on our right. And then we have this part of her face because this is her hair and it starts just a little bit to the left of the crown. Actually, let's go ahead and put this eyebrow in too. And then that kind of goes around her eyebrow. And then there's a line that goes here under her eye that's also like her cheek extends like that and goes right about there and then her head is a little behind the crown so it looks like it's actually sitting on top of it, it just goes out kind of diagonally and then it rounds off a little bit and then right here at this eye line or this cheek line sorry this would be like where her hair is so it, it, it kind of juts up a little bit and then back down and then this is where her ear is and it kind of extends like that so you can kind of gauge that And then this is like a little ear line that might be out a little too far. And then she has an earring. Again, this is super sketchy right now. And then this 
is where the rest of her head is popping out here. And then this is going to actually be part of her shirt, but we'll just put that in for just a second. And then up here, this line here, she has like a huge collar, her little queen collar. So that just, that's all that is. And it's just kind of extends. It's just a line like that. Then we can put in her, her buns. And it's just basically a, a circle and then another circle. And then she has a couple of ribbons sticking out as well. And then right here at the bottom of her earring, right here, or at the kind of near the bottom of her earring, is where her collar is on this side. So it just goes up like that. And then down here under her chin, her neck, like where her shirt is, is like right here. So you can kind of go up and see it's kind of would be right sort of underneath her eye. So we've just put a diagonal line like that, matches under her eye. And then from there, we connect these two spaces. So like that. And then this is the actual collar. So then that just goes up and mimics that. And then this line here is just sh part of the heart that's on her shirt. And this is basically like her shoulder and then her other shoulder would be kind of down here. So now that I kind of have things placed, I can go back in and really define the lines that I want to keep because there are some things that definitely need cleaned up. So I'm going to do that to find the eye a little bit better. The cheek here. raising everything up just a little bit. Again, this eye is a little bit larger because it's supposed to be closer to us. And then I can pop this in here. And her eyebrow pops out just a little bit right there. got her head a little too fat like this needs to be a little bit closer it's all about making adjustments to make sure that it is a little bit closer to what we want and I can pop that eyebrow back in and then we can put this line in over here and I'm gonna bring that up a little higher and then come back down This, I think I may go out a little bit too far as well. So I'm gonna shorten that up a little bit. And this is why it's really good to kind of sketch it out first and then use a light box or you can use carbon paper or something to then transfer it onto the paper that you're actually gonna color. Because if, if you don't, like I would still see some of my pencil lines erase marks, um, depending on what you're using to color it in. If you're using acrylic markers or if you're painting it or something with acrylics, then it won't matter as much because it'll cover it. But if you're using like alcohol markers, you would see those lines. Put this bottom lip in. I'm going to move it up a little bit here like so. And then we'll have to shift over the bottom of our lip too, or the bottom of her chin, I should say. Pop her tongue back in. I think in this scene in the movie, she's yelling at Alice or and, and meeting her. I don't even know for sure. And then we can kind of pop in her pupils. And they're kind of so sideways a little bit. This one could even be a little bit more. They'll be colored in black, so it's okay if you don't have them perfect right now. 
and then I can pop in her little collar, kind of head up that way. And I'll stop right there for a second. And then since I kind of shifted things to the left, I'm going to have to erase her ear and put that back in. Have you noticed that pretty much all of the villains wear earrings? I don't think that all of the, the princesses do, but I'm not 100% sure on that. ahead and put her crown in and it's just kind of three points and I don't think it matters if they're perfect and then there's two kind of behind so that it looks like it's you know 3d like so and there we go so in the next video I'm going to color her in and I'm going to use acrylic markers I think for this last one I'm gonna I used acrylic markers last time but I think I'm gonna go ahead and use them for her as well we'll see you'll find out in video too you'll have to stay tuned and check that one out as well so I will see you in part two thank you so much for drawing with me today